New DLC means a new colony. This one will last for multiple videos. Here is my custom start. Here is my chosen difficulty settings. Here are my world generation settings. Keep in mind I'm using mods which are all listed in the description. Here's what the generated world looks like. And this is where I land. I created a custom fixed ideology for this run. Basically nature serves man, pain is based, and we should tell everyone about it. Also, you can have unlimited spouses and out of wedlock physical love. These are the traits for the custom Xenotype green skin that I will be using. These are my three starting tribesmen, Gray, the man, Jay, the pregnant lady, Bay, the lady with a gun. I load in. I stockpile all the stuff I start with. Design my first building and have them build it. I start designing a second building, which will be for their rooms. Partway through building, I remember to have all the characters romance each other, making Grey the lover of both of these women. This gives me a consistent way of making new tribesmen. Now that that building's done, I'm going to need some workshops. I would put them in those two empty rooms, but I want to save them for new colonists, so I'm going to make a new structure for all my workshops. The four workshops I add are a butcher table, a stove, a research bench, and a crafting spot. My tribesmen don't have any headgear equipped at the moment, so I add a bill to make three war masks for them. I assign some steel to be mined so I can finish my research bench. Next I assign a place to grow rice. Right here is where I notice that the baby that Jay is pregnant with is half human, so they won't have all the green skin traits. That's okay, but it means their hunger rate, aka metabolic efficiency, won't have the optimal 100% that I'm looking for. Also, I don't know when it happened, but Bay is now pregnant with Gray's child. Gray proposes to Jay that they should get married, and Jay says yes. I assign a bunch of the boulders laying around my settlement to be taken to storage. A passing traveler gives us a gift of 14 plasteel, which I gladly accept. Gray proposes to Bay, and she too says yes. A mad rat approaches to attack the tribesmen. I order the kitchen to get wood floors so it'll be cleaner in there, and the chances of food poisoning will be decreased. Next, I design a laboratory where my tribesmen can research. I also assign two more cells of compact steel to be mined so I can create the rest of the research benches. Then I realize I left too big a gap between the lab and the storage building, so I do a minor redesign. I get the pop-up to name my faction and my settlement, I stick with the randomly generated Pact of Stone for my faction name, and I name the settlement Greenhold. We get raided by a man with a club. That raider beat Jay up pretty good, so I decide to set one of the empty rooms for medical use. Her beating was pretty bad. One of the many injuries was her second left toe being destroyed. I make a skull spike out of the raider's skull. I designate the old stone walls that my storage building was built on to be repaired. I order more trees harvested. A transport pod crashes nearby, containing an injured old man who was hostile to my faction. I considered converting him to my faction and ideology, but he has major Alzheimer's, which is pretty problematic. So I decided it's better to just euthanize him. The rice crop gets a blight on it, which means I have to cut it all and replant it. A royal from the refugee empire calls from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped, but is now being followed by a man-hunting squirrel. He wants to be kept safe at Greenhold until a shuttle can come pick him up. In exchange for our help, he will give 8 honor, which is basically royal standing, to a tribesman of my choosing. I accept for Grey. Alright, mad squirrel down. Load up the noble. Quest complete. Gotta patch Grey up from the squirrel attack. The tribesmen need something for recreation, so I put down this archery target. Yeah. 
The tribesmen put on a ceremony to give Jay the role of head converter. I would have captured this raider and tried to flip them to my side, but they're incapable of some forms of work, and I just don't want to deal with that at this point. Harvest some heel root, harvest some berries. Disturbing vision. Gray has had a strange dream. In it, he saw a black shape unfurling in space and time, growing and consuming. The shape originated from a nearby crumbling monolith. Upon waking from the vision, Gray feels strangely drawn to the mo monolith. It calls to him. Gray, go investigate that monolith you just had a dream about. I'm sure nothing horrible will happen. Why is it trembling like that? The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch and Gray thinks he can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. The lines on its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Gray focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens. The shapes begin to flow into Gray's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in his mind. The anomaly is stirring. Uh. Keep focusing on the anomaly. What's the worst that could happen? Gray Paul. A blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells ancient somehow, and it stings the skin. The unnatural grayness of it seems to invoke a sense of dread. Oh, cool. Did this get bigger? Oh, what the hell is all this? As the monolith twisted and changed, Gray was overcome with a horrifying vision in an instant he understood. The monolith is a doorway just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond the imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Gray is convinced he can learn more if given time to study the monolith. Building Category Unlocked Anomaly, Research Tab Unlocked Anomaly, Entity Codex Unlocked. You can now study the monolith and other entities to gain anomaly research. Oh, what the hell? Build a Psychic Ritual Spot and perform Psychic Rituals. Use the Void Provocation Ritual to discover new entities. I guess I'm going to set that as our research. Harbinger Tree Sprout. Harbinger trees have sprouted nearby. These gnarled trees grow flesh-like coverings and can feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby. If well fed, the grove will continue to grow. In tribal myth, these trees are emissaries of a shapeless god who rules the endless black ocean. Uh, the myth ends after shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. Oh, cool. Finally, something like to do with skeletons. Like that. Let's see what do we have. Anomaly. Holding spot. Holding spot for holding dangerous entities. Not as good as a steel holding platform, but a lot better than nothing. Downed entities can be secured with a holding spot where they can be studied. Increase containment strength by building strong walls and doors and other special containment devices. Wild? Yeah, you need to back up and shoot this person with a gun. Gray and Bay will try to hold him back. Oh, uh, this person might just down all my colonists. I just down them all. Man in black. Oh my god! Man in black, let's go! Man in black, save us. Huh? Oh my god, they're trying to fucking. Kidnap Jay! Rhino, stop that bitch. Okay. A twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck, this Rhino guy might not make it. 
Oh, he... No, we got it. Oh, we should contain it and study it. Ah, Bay. Romance Rhino. Now everyone has a partner. Oh, except for Rhino. Jay, Jay's not on their feet, so they can't convert just yet. Sight Stealer. Emaciated and misshapen humanoids. Their arms end in sharp, curled claws formed from bioferret. Sight Stealers are fragile, but use psychic influence to render themselves invisible until they get close to their victims. They are known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. Oh, see? Look, this dead squirrel's got something happening to it. Being consumed by Harbinger Tree. Man, everyone's so f***ed up right now. Hey, this is all this rice is ready to come in. Here I'm making adjustments to cooking priorities. I set it up so that meat will always get cooked first. Then, if there is no meat and meals are still needed, vegetarian options will be made. Jay attempts to convert Rhino to the green skin way of IDEO ethics, with some success. Within a few days, he should know the truth. Jay is in labor. A blind healer is approaching the colony. She wants to talk. You can send a colonist to hear what she has to say. Oh, like a blind healer? Is that what it said? Because she, I don't think this lady has any eyes. Initially, I send Jay to go talk to the lady. It's Jay? Okay, oh, there's Jay. She's, oh wait, isn't she in labor? Jay tries her best, but eventually, and understandably, collapses. Fuck, Rhino. Rescue Jay, Bay. You talk to the la the strange lady. A small withered woman stands in front of you. Where her eyes should be, there are only scar-crusted holes in her flesh. Yet even without eyes, she somehow looks at you with kindness. She says that she knows that her skills are needed here and wants to stay for a while. She offers to use her healing power to help you. She may be very useful, but you also sense there is something she is not telling you. Sure. Well, why not? She's got a fucking unnatural healing. Use dark psychic influence to heal someone. The process will stop bleeding, restore blood loss, and even heal significant injuries. However, it may also have unexpected side effects. Clearly, you should go use that on Gray. Oh. Oh, what did that do? Varno has finished her psychic healing on Gray. Gray's sketch was healed. However, something went terribly wrong. Gray's arm split open as a violent growth emerged from his body. His arm has been replaced with a fleshy tentacle. How does he feel about that? Flesh tentacle. Not great. Minus six mood debuff. Description. Get this thing off me. As soon as I unpause the game, I get another wonderful notification. Hey. Healthy childbirth. Wow. Imagine that being the first thing you see in this world. Here's why I realized Voronov, our wonderful healer, has a dependency on an expensive drug I don't know how to create. They have a go-go juice dependency? If she doesn't get this drug, she will die. They're not gonna survive. Taking a closer look at Gray's flesh tentacle, I see that it's a fleshy, muscled tentacle resembling a partial transformation into a flesh beast. The tentacle is excellent at manipulation. The flesh tentacle has its own neural structures and may become dangerous if removed. Part efficiency, 120%, minus one beauty. Why is this baby here and why is there blood right where it is? Veronov, because you gave Gray a flesh tentacle against his will, you're gonna sleep out in the cold tonight. What is this baby's name gonna be? Squid? No, it's gotta be some dumb thing like Day. Uh-oh, why did Bay just collapse? Ah, probably because she's in the third trimester of her pregnancy and she has food poisoning. Yeah, that'll make it hard to walk around. Oh, another harbinger tree sprouted. I'm sure giving that thing corpses is a great idea. Hmm, yes, studying. Very interesting. Oh yeah, I guess I need more housing, huh? You can sleep in there. So look, we got our transport card crashing. Oh, it's some guy. Does he have anything cool about him? Oh, Rhino, you're gonna sleep in this crafting room for now on. And then this one will set for prisoner J. Go capture them. This Sayaki uh, chick is pretty beat up, but she'll make it. I'm looking around for animal corpses to feed the harbinger trees, like this guy. How's Gray doing? Oh, he's got food poisoning too? Man, whoever is doing the cooking is not doing a good job. This Sayaki chick seems fine. I'm gonna set her to be recruited. What the fuck? 
Who thought this was a good place for a baby day? I don't know if you guys know this, but the ground just outside the settlement isn't really a safe place for a little defenseless baby. All right, we converted Rhino to the right way of thinking, which means they can now sleep with their girlfriend, Bay. And also, Jay can romance Rhino. So now, you know, just, you know, we're just one big happy family. There's a little party out here. Oh no, the, the Gray and Jay are getting married. That's cute. And on that note, I think I'll end this video. The story of Greenhold will return after a couple of videos. One, a Red Faction video where I liberate the Dust Sector, and two, a Fallout 4 video where I, I don't know, probably kill some raiders again. Uh, thank you all for the support, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Love you.